I know the truth, my friend. And he knows who actually killed her. And he knows that she wasn't a drug addict. This is a playbook, you guys. To say someone is mental, I don't know how to, you know, help you all out. I'm trying to be light about this. But this is a playbook, and especially to women, that has been done for decades, okay? My father's family had it in his family. I watched my dad do He's doing it to me now. I've watched him help other friends of his in this town with the old sheriff do this to women and drive them out of town and take their children. You say they're crazy, you grab your chest, you say we've done everything, we'll take the children, we're the saviors. And you know what, that's actually a very mob mentality, you know, to make the accusations before the victim can. And it's dirty. And you know what, we also need to understand guilty until proven innocent which is very unfortunate because it's supposed to be innocent until proven innocent. And the crazy thing is in a situation like this is you're not even suspected or accused of a crime, yet you still go in this sham form of criminal court to um, be trial like a criminal. Mm -hmm. And crazy. we already have the reports and documents of my father making the false reports to the police right. on the arrest that people want. This is part of the playbook. Right. They discredit you. They slander you. They do things to make you crazy and break you. That's why they took my children, everybody. They know that my children are my entire life. They know that. <laughs> that you know, so we just have to realize these things. And, you know, again, we have the reports of my dad. We have everything. I don't need to speak out. I want people. This is, a, there's a point to this. Let this not be in vain. Go research. Go find out your rights. Go rethink some things about your life or where you live or your community. Start getting out there and making sure. This is about accountability, transparency. You know, these people have been given immunity to the highest of levels. They think they can do whatever they want. And that's unfortunate. Right. You know, I'm not, I'm not complaining that's about not that. That's not just That's all our public It's courts. It's lawyers. The attorneys. It's attorneys. everything. You have to understand this whole network. You know, that is a network. They all, like, you go to work every day and you have co-workers that you know and you see every day in the office. That is what this is, is as well. And many people don't know because they haven't. I've never, I've never had a criminal record. I've never had substance issues. I've never had anything at all. My, I, was forced, uh, I was forced into a rehab at 28 years old and for nothing, for nothing. Wow. You know, again, telling my parents that this was their abuse. You won't listen, John Ravey Walsh. We understand the abuse because of your past, but that is what this is, and it's time to acknowledge it. You know, it should be a blessing that your daughter doesn't have mental illness. Yeah, right. Why would you speak that? They've been speaking that over me since I was small, and cancer as well. Okay, I want everyone to know they, that. Yeah, I mean, people don't realize that, you know, like you said, people know what goes on in, in behind closed doors, and the bottom line is, is that they, they have as much mental illness as anybody because they're the ones that cover the things up and they're the ones that have to live with it. Mm -hmm. They only put the narrative over your face, mm -hmm. and that's what I understand by knowing a, a, an alcoholic mother that I had mm -hmm. and what she went through with abuse and neglect mm -hmm. in her home and the trauma that she went through. Yes. If she was watching this case right now, she'd be like, you know what, John? There's, nobody came out of that house saying no one. There's no way. No there's one. No I way. should be a heroin a addict by now, yeah. and I no thank God out of that house every day. Saying, Nobody. Nobody. So who? So who's that? Who, how are they not? All mental of Ill? my brothers, my parents. Every, exactly. It's very, and they have all been resistant to therapy. It's not them. They have pawned me out, and I have ro risen to the occasion when then the therapist stops seeing them and can't work with them and don't know what to do. And all they do is beg these doctors, harass the doctors for a diagnosis. This is also, we just had Britney Spears. Everyone's acting like they don't know about conservatorships and guardianships. You could take all of the characters in her mess, and you could literally replace the names with people in my mess. So, you know what, and Florida is one of the largest states, again, for conservatorship and guardianship and been, fraud. And I've, this is not just about children, this is about our veterans. This is about our veterans that went and fought for our rights, and they come back here, and you all have them because of their fight, and now they are used and put in the system. Also it seniors. Is, that's what I'm, and seniors, absolutely, absolutely. And we have to, these are the most vulnerable people of our society that we need to be protected. It is so wrong, and I just hope people see this so clearly. I hope so. I pray that it becomes and clear. We're going to keep sharing everything, and i got a friend that's going to collapse some of your old interviews together, so make it a little bit easier for people to get in contact. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's working on it.
guy that was here today. Yeah, that was awesome. And I've had full full transparency for over a year. People can go Google it. They can look on YouTube. Again, like we were saying here, we'll provide stuff. But, you know, again, this this is really about humanity and where we all come from when we're seeing other things, whether we step forward, how we judge each other. You know what what the truth is that comes out how we're allowing our society to operate these kinds of notions and our society know, is important. so worried about hurting people's feelings over things but yeah they're not worried about real serious issues like this you know, but we're gonna but we're getting there it's easier out. you we're know it's easier there. to yeah. get that we're getting but, but this is real it. and and you know what it's actually a beautiful thing when you can address it when you realize it it is a beautiful thing you can stand out here and speak your truth and just tell everybody and be authentic and be your true authentic self Thank and not you. disguise anything. Yeah, it is. Megan, it is nice to finally be. You. I've lived you're, you're, 40 you're, years almost for John and Renee Walsh. Like I showed up for anything they needed, even emotionally, whatever they needed at the time. And I'm sick of being the parent. I love my parents. I want them to get help. That's it. They deserve it. This is not the way. It's not too late. This is not the it's way. It's not too late. Not I just late. asked if they would use a Christian mediator and if they would be willing to speak. And from my father, it was a hard no, which is, is sad. It's heartbreaking. But that's free will choice. So it they, is. They, so they, they, they go through their path. Mm-hmm. So everybody has their own collective their own dream. Journey. Their own yep. dream. And it's their own dream. And when the collective dream is coming alive, mm-hmm. and the truth shall be, shall be told. It will. And it will. And that's, I feel so yet. blessed to, to be where I am and my faith in the Lord and and the timing, his timing. It's hard sometimes, but it's it's always his timing, and, and I, I'm just honored for that. I, I feel blessed more and more every day. Yeah, the more we Truly. speak out it, the more, the more it gets out there in the, in the universe, it and is. the universe will answer the call. Mm-hmm. It'll happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a global issue. Yeah, sure I didn't is. make it up. So, sorry guys, I wish I was that original.